to Bob's books again. Today we're going to take a look at a book called uh, Out on Top. It's a very new release by a, a good friend of mine, Steve Morris. I always like Steve's books. Uh, he writes a lot of short stories, things like that. Um, this book is another one that has a lot of short stories. Sometimes he puts little twist endings in his stories, but these are, all have very good endings. They all come out out on top. All your characters who start out at the bottom, they all end up doing well for themselves. It's a, a really good book full of good stories. I'm going to read you a part from one of my favorite called Score to Set. Now this story is about uh, an older athlete who's getting a little older, he's in the lower leagues playing English football, soccer, and apparently his wife years ago cheated with another player, uh, some other guy, who's now in the lower leagues, and he ends up divorced, and he's going to play this guy in a match, and so he plans to get this guy back to hurt him in the match. It's a very good story. So this is uh, about just before the, the match starts. Mind on the game now. Come on, get out there. After I tighten my bootlaces for the fifth time, fingers trembling on the aforementioned adrenaline, I soon realized that insufficient spit in my mouth to even speak coherently to our captain. I couldn't look him in the eye during that ridiculous respect handshake thing we had to do before the game. I walked straight past him without so much as slapping his hand. Perhaps he noticed. Why did they bother having us doing all that in the, in the lower leagues anyway? When the whistle blew, I decided to be someone else. I would be a fictional player who I didn't know. That day I would have no weakness. I would have no weaknesses, no frailties, and no fear. This I knew was to be my one and only chance to put things right. He wouldn't have played another full season at his stage of his career, perhaps only a handful of games next season if he didn't retire. The chance was that those games wouldn't have been against us. If they were, I'd be warning the substitutes bench watching our teenage left back, even if I stayed at the club. Conditions were ideal that night for what I had in mind. The pitch was hard, and it was a difficult surface to play flowing soccer on. It hadn't rained for weeks. The ball was bouncing high. Neither team was able to get the ball to stay on the ground for any more than two passes. There were a lot of aerial battles going on early in the game as both sides sounded each other out in what was quickly proving to be a bad-tempered affair. A few, heads a few heads clashed, jumping for headers. So the game's already violent. These teams already don't like each other. He's going to get this guy one way or another. He's got a plan. Now in soccer, obviously, unless you're right against the guy, you've got to figure out how to get across the field to his position, whether you want to be, you know, get a red card, get tossed out of the game, you know, whatever happens. He's going to risk a lot to try just to take this guy out. It's a good story with a, a great ending to it. Uh, I won't tell you, it's a little spoiler, but this guy does come out on top, and things happen that, that it's actually a feel-good story, you know. It, it starts out a revenge story, he's going to get this guy, but it, it changes, and, and you'll have to read it. It's not very long, it's one of these that you can read, as my friends say, short, on the train, on a bus somewhere. Uh, I've got electronically uh, a copy that I'm reading in iBooks, which you get for Kindle. You can get a paperback copy of the book for the, the old schoolers like my author friend who like to read a book. Uh, but it's it's a very good book. It's a story, it's got a story about a two-headed puppy, uh, about a guy who can see into people's past, things like that. It's very good. Uh, highly recommended book. So there you go, out on top. We'll take a look at the book cover. We'll write a quick blog about this. We'll put the video up there. So take a look. Help support uh, a smaller author. Go buy one of his books. Thanks.